generator working for most of the stay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you have to put the room key in here in the slot and leave it in there in order to turn on the lights. Like that. That's the first time I've seen something like that. Interesting. All right, let's look at my standard room at 45 times square. Uh, it's not huge. <laughs> here is the living area. Mirror. Reasonably high ceiling. Queen size bed. Got a little table. Small flat screen television, windows with curtains. We've got some outlets here, there, and there. Here's the restroom. Toilet. Shower. Okay, so here is the door to the bathroom. That should help keep it dark in the bedroom when it needs to be dark. It just slides in and out. It's a pocket door. It just doesn't look like most pocket doors. It actually, well, it doesn't have the little latch there <laughs> that you tend to look for. Let's look at this. This window in the bathroom, in the shower. Yeah, it opens about that far. See how far that is? You can look at Connolly's pub next door. Okay. Now maybe a little kid could climb through there, but I'm guessing it only opens this big. You really have to squeeze, and the handle is way up high like this. So it's probably not a problem safety-wise, and I don't know, maybe you'd like to get some air when you're in the shower. <laughs> Outlet here, next to the bed. Reading lights. Let's take a look at one of these lights here above the bed here at 45 times square. So here's the button down here turn the, the lamp off and on like that okay but look here see this thing right here let's pull that out look at that there is a directional light that's really good for reading isn't that cool and boom it goes away and it turns off again. Awesome. See this big mirror? See, see, this? see there's the wall. I'm, I'm looking in the mirror right now. There's the mirror. See this mirror? See the, see the frame of the mirror? Look, look here, look here. What's, what's that right there? Look. Oh, there's the closet. <laughs> what's hiding behind this mirror? And there's a small refrigerator, and <laughs> there's a safe, and there's some cups, and it, oh, look, you can hang your stuff. Look, look where it is, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of hiding in plain sight. With no chair in the room, you can't really get to the one little table over here. So, if you're gonna sit down and eat, the only place really to put 
your food on a flat surface or your drink won't spill is here in the windowsill. So um, these people in this building up here, if they want to, they can watch me eat my breakfast in my underwear if they like. Oh well. All right, let's talk about my stay at 45 Times Square. I was in room 812, that's on the eighth floor. It's a decent room. They've done big modern designs in here, so it's uh, it's pretty up to date as far as that goes. Uh, quality is decent, cleanliness is good. I didn't find any situations where things were dirty. I will say there was uh, my first evening here, uh, there was a fire alarm at 1.45 in the morning. <laughs> I jerked up out of bed and they made an announcement first that they had identified the location uh, that was causing the alarm. But then, and then the alarm went off. And so the indication seemed to be that we didn't have to leave our rooms yet. But then the alarm went back on again. <laughs> and so it became clear that we had to leave our rooms. So we, I left my room, I walked down eight flights of stairs. We stood around uh, outside, both outside and then in the lobby some for a good oh my gosh i don't know how long it was it feels like it was 20 minutes to half an hour while they tried to get the alarm to turn off the fire department came confirmed that there was no fire i found out later it was somebody who had, was smoking in the room you're not supposed to be smoking in your room here they opened their door to try to get the smoke out of their room and then boom it hit a fire uh, detection uh, device in the hallway and upended the rest of our uh, sleep schedule but it took them a long time they could not figure out how to make the alarm turn off again they actually sent us back to our rooms back up eight flights of stairs and um, I don't know when was the last time you went up eight flights of concrete stairs. Um, it's not something you want to be trying to be doing at 2 a.m. It's tough on even a relatively healthy person. There were people older than me uh, and uh, heavier than me trying to make those walks and I did not envy them but I was back in my room for a good 10-15 mm, minutes before the alarm then went uh, turned off again and thankfully did not come back on but that destroyed my night's sleep and it had an impact on the entire rest of my trip honestly I never quite got back on my sleep schedule and back to where I felt fully uh, energetic for the, the next two days of my trip. Would I stay here again? Ah, probably not. I mean, they don't know how to turn off their own fire alarm system. Uh, maybe they've got that figured out now, but it had a real negative impact on this trip for me. You know, you know what they say, the restaurant that's been dinged by the health department is probably the cleanest restaurant in town. But uh, I just know that if I came back here and something like that happened again, I would be kicking myself. So, um, no, no, uh, thumbs down. Honestly, even though the, the room was fine, you know, not super fancy, it was all that I needed, except there's no place to sit. If you're gonna sit down and eat, I actually had to sit down in bed. 
there's no chair, uh, there's no chair and table. So <laughs> if you're gonna bring food back to your room, you're sitting on your bed. That's the biggest complaint I would have about the room, but you know, I, I knew that going in. So it's a reserved thumbs down.